Welcome to the introduction video for the GPOE 24V NW. Having the correct volts for your power over ethernet device is essential to the performance and long-term life of that device, whether it's an IP camera or a Wi-Fi radio. If you have an unregulated power source, the GPOE 24V 10W will deliver a regulated 24 volt passive PoE with a gigabit data rate. Perhaps you're using a battery power source, such as a solar system for your devices. Even if the system is rated for 24 volts, the best batteries will range from 12 to 30 volts. A regulated power conversion means your PoE device will receive a constant 24 volts at 10 watts. This flexible inline power converter delivers the power you need from a wide range of inputs. For more details on the product and a wiring diagram, visit our online manual at www.poetexas.com. As an inline device, the GPOE 24V 10W does not require any special mounting. You can simply use a cable mount to secure the device to a wall or plate. If you're using a 24 volt passive PoE system with an unregulated power source, you can simply plug in the male RJ45 jack to a passive 24 volt PoE switch or mid-span. The LED lights indicate the power is functional and you're getting a regulated 24 volt power. If you're using this with a battery system, the installation is the same except plugging in the DC barrel. As most charge controllers come with a DC screw terminal, we recommend a DC screw terminal to 5.5 by 2.1 DC barrel jack adapter, such as the one we found here on Amazon. It simplifies the installation a lot. Then plug in the male RJ45 into a data source. This device pairs well with our GPOE 2B, which is a single port mid-span injector that provides power to both ports, the LAN and the PoE port, and connects the data between them. The use case here is a solar battery system that connects a backhaul Wi-Fi radio from a data source and a secondary device like an IP camera. We cover this in a blog and a video in the link below. It is that simple to set up and use the GPOE 24V10W.